and my name is Callum. We're going to make a little mini mo today. Little mo. Little mo. Hold it up. And what is that? It's a mousetrap powered car. Mousetrap? You want to show us the mousetrap? Yep. All right. Remember, hold it flat. And we're going to use this to power a car. Go ahead, touch it lightly, right on the top. Oh! And we're going to take the power of that spring and use it to power a car. So let's get building it. Now, this isn't a total kids project, and one of the first things you do is you uh, cut the mouse trap. So it can never actually be set as a mouse trap. So we take that part off. I'm supposed to keep that. I'm supposed to use a wire cutter and remove cut at one spot right at the top here. Oh, I want to leave it as long as I can. It's right on the corner. Let's see if these are old wire cutters. I've had these a long time. Oh, but they still work. All right. So that is the mouse trap down that you removed. You put a couple drops of super glue on that. Not much. I'm using some special glue that I use with my airplanes and to repair the foam. But I find it works for just about anything. Oop, got a little drop forming at the top. And you straighten out the end of that bar with your pliers or whatever you have, and you insert that all the way in with the super glue. And you take the other end, and I'm gonna do this. A little super glue. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little super glue on this end. And then quickly pick it up and slide the other end on. And turn it. Make sure the glue gets on the inside. And according to the picture, it looks like I slide it all the way down. Give it a turn and you leave the loop facing the top. Are you taping me or the table? Hello? I'm still taping it. You're still taping it? Yeah, I... Okay, just making sure. Like and I, I have... can remain in training. So I... there we go, that's the end of the first step, is that it? Uh, slide the other end of the lever arm at the mouse traps, making sure the tube slides under the spring arm. And it says don't glue that side, so I already made a mistake. Callum's turn. Cut it. All right, Callum is going to start doing the frame. And now down a little lower. Okay, keep, just spread it down. No, no, down here more. Here, like, like this. Okay. Get like a, a thin line of it going down through the line of the mouse trap. Okay, now get the other one. That's that's enough glue. It doesn't take much glue. That's it. Do a thin line. Perfect. Okay. Now, without touching that glue, yeah, I'm gonna bring this. Um. All right. Let me put the lid back on the glue. <laughs> Callum's first time handling the model cement. Um, because it's wood, we chose model cement over the uh, the foam safe super glue. Um, it is super glue. It will work. Anything, it's just foam safe. It's a little bit more expensive, but we chose model cement for the wood part. All right, now you got to put that mouse trap on the rails. So pick up the mouse trap without touching the glue. <laughs> without touching the glue. All right. Now, lay it on the edge of that and the edge of the other side as well. All right, make sure the edges are pretty good. Uh, that's good. That's good? Yep. Ooh, we got quite a little. Okay, we're going to let that dry and then we'll come back. Um, we're back. The glue dry, and now I'm going to stick the axles in. All right, we had to stop taping, right? Yep. 
because we had a little issue with the glue we used. It wasn't quite dry. So I used uh, my crazy glue with a kicker, and it's now they're not moving. So, Cal, yeah. you are going to push those down as hard as you can. There you go. Is that good? No, keep going until you're just about to touch. Ooh, that's good. Perfect. Pop the wheel up. Good. All right, now one more. These are a little difficult, so I did the first two. All right, good. Nope, that's good. Just pop the wheel back on. All right. No, it's not ready. Yeah, it's close okay. enough for now. So this is what we have now. Wow, you can't really see the wheels. All right, what's the next step, Callum? Attaching All the right, action. We use scissors to cut it, right, Cal? Yep. And now I'm going to use a little glue. Oop, where are we? On the like this. And Cal, yeah, we're going to do the kicker. There you go. All right, and that crazy glue is already dry. Oh, yeah. Our loop is secure. So now we have to learn how to tie a loop knot and attach the string. Yeah. yeah take the other end of the string, not this end I have. Yep. Take that and put it through there. No, no, put it through. String it through like a needle. All right, now pull it through. Keep pulling, keep pulling, pull it through. And down this end, this attaches to this axle hook. What? Now this string isn't the easiest to work with. It's not your regular string. It's uh, I think it says it's a Kevlar string. So go under there, and, and uh, then go through the loop. I already know. Okay. Ooh, hold on, we're stuck on a we're stuck on the spring here. This is supposed to be like that. Got it. <laughs> We need a third person to be the cameraman. All right. Hold on. Oh, that's a little long, but I think that should work. All right. So, we have the string. We have the mousetrap. We have the tires on. So. And uh, we got to figure out where to run this thing. Right? Yep. There you go. Ooh. It's being bent forward or backwards, sorry, to the back. I'm at the front. All right, which way are we aim in this thing? Living room? All right. And here we go. The little or a little mo. Ready. Ready. Ooh. And it hit something, but it went. It works. We're happy. Come on back here, Cal. Hold it up. Little Mo. Little Mo. L I L. Lil Lil Mo. Something like that. How do you like it? Good. <laughs> Have anything else to say? No. Are we done? Yep. Then say goodbye. Bye.